The Miles Community College women's basketball team will arrive at the Junior College National Tournament in Lubbock, Texas late on Friday night. The Pioneers left Thursday and stayed in Denver before making the rest of the trek. With the championship scheduled for April 24th, MCC is planning on an extended stay. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we told the girls we're, we're going to be gone almost two weeks. You know, um, Kate Tanner asked me, she said, can I pack a suitcase? I said, yep, pack a suitcase. We're going to be gone for a while. I mean, this is uh, just a once in a lifetime opportunity for, for a lot of these girls, you know, because this one team that we have, you know, we won't be together again. It's the, you know, beauty of junior college. People leave, people come, and we really want to cherish these last moments that we have together. The Pioneers open up with Gulf Coast State College on Monday afternoon. Now MCC may have the nation's number one JUCO scorer in Rebecca Dollinger, but Gulf Coast State's Nia Daniel ranks third in the country. The Pioneers defense will need to be at its absolute best against the Commodores, who can stun MCC a bit with their style of play. And she's, she's their big focus, you know, so, so she's going to be our main focus when, when we're defending, always knowing where she is at all times. The biggest thing for us is when a shot goes up, we have to rebound. They're really, really good at getting offensive rebounds and creating open looks after they get those offensive rebounds. That's going to be a challenge for us. The other thing is they'll pick us up full court and they'll be very physical with us, be very aggressive, and that's going to be something that, you know, the, the league we play in is not a very aggressive physical league, so we're just going to have to adjust to that right away. A key ingredient to victory for MCC is likely the same that it's been all season long, having fun. This group has played free throughout the year, but they know when to lock in, too. We can be pretty loose, but you know, we're really focused in our, in our film and scouting report sessions. We're really focused in our sessions of practice where we're, you know, going over Gulf Coast State. Um, and, and, you know, they really know when to kind of flip that switch to be really focused and they do a really good job of kind of balancing you know it's like hey we're going to nationals like let's have fun like let's celebrate this let's have a good time but also like okay now we really got to lock in and focus here because we do have a job to do and I think they do a really good job of it. 15th seeded Gulf Coast State and 18th seeded MCC will tip off inside the Rip Griffin Center at 1 p.m. Mountain Time on Monday afternoon. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.